I went for the yellow option and attacked dynamite and he counter attacked with the stun grenade and hey it's a boy we are going to do something different something that no one has ever done something no one could ever imagine if, if it's possible we are doing 20 drops in solo showdown competition map basically we are going to drop in solo showdown map and understand what type of map we will make we begin the round we begin the round and straight away i realize that it is good and straight away realized that it is going to be a race between brawlers. Luckily there were no throwers. I feel this map is made by a kid who has to go to a doctor a lot. This feels like a wire loop game. I jumped in and didn't engage in any battles. I straight away went to the top because people tend to fight after they land. So I wanted to keep as much distance as possible between me and the other players. I took down the spike but then El Primo popped out of nowhere and we had to fight it out to the death as we both were pinched by Penny and Coco. And I got first place. Hey. It's quiet. Maybe too quiet. Always wanted to say that. So the game was very quiet initially and that's on a spotted car near a box. I thought I could get him but the stupid auto aim decided to target the box instead of car. He escaped but then I saw a mortis and I thought to myself that I can get him. I Konishi whacked him and scared go away. There were no brawlers inside so I was wandering around. I saw a bull, missed it, but I fought well. But cold, third party in the fight, and to all the rewards, I finished third in that game. Uh, hey guys, can you do me a favor? Can you subscribe to my channel? I cannot guarantee you good quality videos as of now. I'm still learning, but I hope I get better soon so I can provide good content. So, do subscribe. Getting back to the video, I decided to play with Crow this time. I was immediately attacked by 8-bit and then by M, so I did what every sensible person would ever do. After escaping that, I followed him back. A while Shelly popped up and ended the 8-bit's misery. And then I swooped in and took care of Shell. A few moments later And she was not aware of my positioning so I thought let's brawl Let's attack from her back and defeat her She had a super, I was surprised when she attacked me with her super but I retaliated with my super and next thing you know she was dead I went to collect her cubes but luckily I had enough health to survive to El Primo hit. I had to use my gadget to survive that Then El Primo was running away and I went, uh, I attacked her and uh, BB, uh, BB interrupted our fight but it only helped me because it 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 was a ca it, and I was able to uh, I was able to defeat hit El Primo behind me and attack attacked me. I used my gadget I used my gadget and super at the same time and defeated her and that's how I won the first round of this video. No God please no 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 Finally, a decent map to play on. The round began very nicely. I got two easy kills in the beginning. And almost died to a bull. The gadget came into real use as I secured yet another kill by using it.
my super prediction missed but luckily the surge was a stupid player so it didn't matter and the and the cube that i collected also didn't matter as shelly stop it get some help This is the last round of this solo showdown series, so I hope I end it with a win. Brock jumped into my attack, so that helps. Not much was happening, so I so I skipped a lot here. When I get to the center, I saw a whole skirmish was happening. I was a little late to the party, but I managed to get L3. A few moments later. We were three brawlers in the end, Dynamite, Farley and me. I went for the YOLO option and attacked Dynamite and he counter attacked with the stun grenade. And I finished first. Miracle, miracle, miracle. Uh, miracle. If you're still here watching this video, thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.